Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm Captain Mike D. Well, I've been fishing today. We went out fishing and I caught something we're gonna do a catch and cook with. So we're gonna do catch and cook on Jack Cravel. A lot of people have asked me about it because they see me keep on them. Sometimes they see me throw them away. So we're gonna do something today that I've never done with Jacks. I usually smoke them and do stuff like that with them. But we're gonna try something different see how it comes out so let's see how we do y'all let's catch this jack real quick and i'll see you guys at the cleaning table we'll be in the kitchen y'all Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available, and we will have more available soon. And also, guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there, because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website, so go check it out, y'all. And you can be in your own, very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. All right, y'all, this is what I'm using, live croakers. I'm using a five aught kale hook. Hook them in the anal fin like that. I'm just gonna throw it out here, this bank, and see if we can get something good. Hey guys, I'm hooked up. Boom, boom, boom. There's my catch and cook right there. With my bonus trout. Catch and cook with my bonus trout right there. Nice, 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 nice. Boom. Alrighty, it's a nice little jack. All right, those black dots, push them, and that fish will make no more moves. All right, guys, we are going to try something with this, with this jack. It's a nice size jack. Let's see if I can't get one more. Well, there you go. All right, y'all, I got my jack bow here. So I'm just going to make an incision right here. And all I'm going to do is just take the back strap off of this. So we're just going to come through here just like that. We're going to the other side of this hard scales here. Just like that. I'm just gonna feel that like that. Keep peeling it back. There we go just like that. And there we go. There's one little back strap. Take this little piece and feed the catfish. See if a catfish will come up. See if it'll come up. Nope. They've been coming up. Do the same thing on this side. All right. Let's 
Just like that. Peel this off. There we go. And there we go. All right. The rest of this, I'm gonna feed to the catfish. There's really not much meat off the bottom part of that. Plus it's really, really bloody. So I'll give it back to the environment. Then we're just gonna skin this off real quick. All right. Now we're gonna take as much of that dark meat off as we possibly can. There's bones in there, little pin bones in there, so you don't want that. And there we go, that's what we want right there, is a piece like that. Do the same thing to this side. that backbone off feed it to the kitty cats come through here take this dark meat off just like that and there we go y'all there's our two pieces of a uh, jack or i'm gonna rinse them off and then we're gonna try something when we get home This stuff is really good smoked, guys. I mean, you can't, you almost can't beat Jack Ravel smoked, to be honest with you. It's way better than smoked mullet. But we're gonna try something different with this. Terry caught that real big one the other day, that 30 something pounder. And he did something quite similar to this that we're gonna do. So we're gonna check it out. See, uh, see how it turns out. All right, y'all, we are in the kitchen. I got my Jack Ravel back straps right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some regular old steak seasoning and put a whole bunch right here on this plate. Probably better if I just open it up this way. There we go. And I'm just gonna coat these in this seasoning. Just like that. Just like that, y'all. Do both of them. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to sear these like you would ahi tuna or something like that. You can use whatever you like to use that you sear your tuna with. I just usually do mine with a steak seasoning. I like it that way. So that's what I'm doing. All right, well, I got those coated. So I'm gonna get my pan hot and we'll get to doing it. All right, y'all, we'll just have a non-stick pan. I have no oil, no nothing. I'm just gonna use a hot pan. Hopefully it's about hot enough. And we're just gonna set our pieces in here. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, you hear that sear. All right, we're just gonna let them sear for just a couple seconds, maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds to a minute on both sides. We want the center of it to be raw, basically. That's what we're gonna do. We'll flip it over here in just a little bit. We'll sear it on all sides, and then we'll give it a shot. All right, I got them flipped over already. Took about 45 seconds. Flipped it over. Let this do the same thing. Then I'll sear this little underside there all around it and see how it goes all right y'all it is seared on both sides i'm gonna go ahead and take it off set it right here on my cutting board very firm meat as you can see very very firm looks good 
it smells good. Can't tell you it smells bad. It actually smells pretty good. So we'll see how it tastes. All right, y'all. I got it cut up already. It cooked a lot quicker than I thought it was going to cook, but I mean, not even a minute on both sides, and it's pretty much cooked all the way through. But it looks good. I mean, look at that. It doesn't look bad at all. It smells really good. Well, I'm curious to see how this tastes. Let me give me some ponzu sauce, and we're going to try this out. All right, y'all. Well, I got some ponzu sauce right here. I just put some in a bowl. So we are gonna, we're gonna try it, y'all. A nice little piece right there. Dip in my ponzu sauce. And here we go, y'all. Seared Jack Revelle. Okay, y'all. I'm a little shocked on that. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all. How in the hell is this a trash fish? I'm a little shocked here. Wow. Y'all, that right there. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, it ain't nowhere near as good as tuna. It ain't nowhere, and then not even on the same playing field. But that's just stupid. That is really, really freaking good. Wow. Right, I'm completely shocked here. I thought it was going to be okay. You know, I was going to be like, yeah, you know, it's decent, you know, ain't trapped, da 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 da. No, dude. That right there, it's freaking amazing. I'm, I'm at a total loss of words right here. Wow. I mean, Holy crap. Wow. Y'all, that's pretty dang good. I say y'all try it. Catch a Jackerville, bleed it. I didn't bleed mine, so I bet you it'd be even better than this if you bleed it. I meant to bleed it, but I got caught up in what I was doing and I forgot to bleed it. So get you a Jackerville, bleed it, cut all the bloodline out of it, so you just have that really nice good looking dark meat that red meat is not even as red as tuna it's lighter than tuna kind of a pink meat kind of so just so you have that really clean pink meat sear it i wouldn't even sear it as long as i did i'd just sear it on both sides so it's really raw in the middle mine's pretty much cooked all the way through but wow wow that is really good y'all that i will be keeping jackerbells to do this for now on. If I'm gonna eat it fresh, I'm not gonna freeze it, because I have froze jacks before. They're not that great fried. They're not that great. They're definitely not that good baked. They're awesome. Even if you freeze them, they're awesome smoked. Whether you eat them just right after you smoke them or you make smoked fish dip with them, they're absolutely incredible that way. They're not bad blackened, which is kind of, this is kind of the same thing as blackened, but a little bit different. And, Dude, this is awesome. Y'all need to try some Jacker Bells. That's all I got to say. That right there is phenomenal. That is good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something on this. And hope you guys are brave enough to try it. Because I'm going to tell you something. That right there is awesome. If y'all ever know, back way back in the 30s, snook was considered a trash fish until someone decided to skin them and cook them that way. And mahi-mahi dolphin fish was considered a trash fish until somebody decided to cook them. 
So don't always go by what other people say. Try it for yourself. That's freaking good. See you guys on the next one.